I'm Dale from Brown Brothers Brewing Company. And I'm Dustin, and you're watching Beer Guys TV. Beers to ya! Welcome back once again to Beer Guys TV with the Beer Snob and the Beer Slob. And we're still at Brown Brothers Brewing Company, Lucan, Minnesota. We just finished a tour with Dustin, and now we're getting ready to sample the goods, Rich. Well, we've Ooh. had a great time with Dustin so far, and it's getting better all the oh, time. Yeah. I'm starting to like that guy a little better. <laughs> oh, see, we got him working here on a Saturday yet? I know, huh? Well, this is great. Well, uh, we're going to sample some of their beers and kind of see what uh, what we like, what fits our uh, our beer guy's palate. Um, maybe, uh, Dustin, maybe you could tell us a little about what, what do we have here. Well, guys, first one is, uh, is Old 56. Oh, just like the truck. And, uh, that's yeah, exactly yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Now, the important thing to remember is this is an all malt light beer. There's no rice, no corn, no adjuncts. It's 100% oh. barley malt. So, uh, and it's all two row. So it's it's got it's got kind of the classic clean crisp flavors of that you that you expect to find in a light beer, but it's got a little bit more body, a little bit more of that barley malt flavor. Hmm. Well, I say we take a try it. I we? say we try it. And remember, it's time for you to think about alternatives to those big lockstep lagers. And this is one of your first, this is, this should be a great choice for you if you enjoy light beer. Try one of these. Let's, let's uh, give it a taste. Ooh, it's, it's, it's nice and clean looking. It smells great. Ooh, that's got a nice taste to it. You know, well, for a light beer, it's got some body and actually has some flavor. That's yeah, it. you know, I'm not a big fan of light beer myself. I know. I've said it many times. Oh, I, 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 know. Prefer, I prefer something a little bit with a little bit more body to it. But this is a great light beer. Oh, yeah, that's got a lot of drinkability to it. Yeah. Let's drink, we could drink ability ourselves right out of here. <laughs> wow, that's go. uh, very good. That's uh, the old 56 the old Life 56. from uh, Brow Brothers Brewing Company, Lucan, Minnesota. And you'll notice these, these, these fine glasses that we're these, drinking these out of really from, cool. from the Brow Brothers uh, Brewing Company. Uh, you can get these right on their website, too, I believe. Yeah, yeah, browbeer.com. Browbeer.com. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Brow, browbeer.com, or you can do, we also actually have a link on our site on at, uh, beerguystv.com right. as well. Cool. I'm All liking that. Next. I'm liking. Oh wow! Look at this. <coughs> that looks like uh, that's got that's got to be a creamy stout of some kind. Yep, it's a cream stout on a nitro pour with a stout faucet. So I should have poured it a little bit earlier for you. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a head. Yeah. <laughs> Traditional, uh, and we love the stout faucet because it's going to it's going to aerate that beer. It's going to oxidize it. And it's going to give it much more of a chocolate and a roast. Oh yeah, I can smell it coming uh, off there. Malt flavor or aroma yeah. before it even hits your lips and. Uh, uh, great traditional, Sounds uh, great. more British style. It's going to be a little bit more sweet, a little bit less of the dry uh, uh, Irish stout. Well, it's got a wonderful aroma. It really does. Yeah, that uh, that malt really does come off Definite there. A little chocolate, cho cho like a chocolate. dark chocolate, yep. uh, coffee. Uh, just tasting. I'm just tasting the head of it. Nice. Ooh. I know. It's, you get, know me. I'm kind of the wimpy. Uh, you let's know. Get down to the meat of it. Beer sure. guy, but that's. Uh, <laughs> you know, let's get to. Let's get to it. I like the way he thinks. Oh man! We add about five percent oats to it as well, and that helps to build a little bit struck, a little bit of structure. Is that holds that head, keeps that mouth feel. Well, I, you know, if I had to say one thing about it, I, I tell you, it's, it's it's got a great taste. It's got a great overall overall feel to it. The body's great. <laughs> We've actually tried this before, the creamy stout. But we, well, I tell I you what, like fresh it. off the tap, you're at the brewery. You can't oh, go wrong the brewery. with this. I tell you what, uh, you know, I, I'm the beer slob, but I gotta say that is tasty. Yeah, Very it is. tasty. It, it's great stuff. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Got about 14 more to go here. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to maintain our uh, dignity here on the show. I'm getting back in the go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> back in the go-kart. Maybe go -kart. not. No, we don't do that. Okay. All right. What do we have here, Dustin? Final one is Sheephead. Sheephead. Now, Sheephead is a family card game. And, uh, well, yeah. Uh, Sheephead. If you've ever seen us play it, it's kind of a bitter card game, bitter affair. Rare. So that's what we put into our happy beer. Uh, 
tons of Cascade hop from the hop yard. Right from the hop yard yep, that we this, saw earlier on this the show. This dry hop for about a week, week and a half. Um, it's 7.7, .7, so it's a little bit bigger beer. Oh. This is kind of a, a combination of IPA and bitter because it's got more of the, 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 the European, the Belgian malt. It's got biscuit, it's got uh, aromatic, special, extra special. So it's, it's, we haven't forgot about the malt in this beer as well. Okay. Uh, but definitely, predominantly, American <laughs> West Coast style hops. That's going to have a, a hop. What was the name show. of this one? Uh, Sheep Head. This just, is Sheep Just like the card game. <laughs> just the, yeah. used to play. <laughs> yeah, I love the way they name their beers here at Brow Brothers, huh? Uh, well, we're all from Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, you bet you they're done. Well, let's take a taste, huh? Woo! You know, it, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting time trying. It's got some uh, zing. Yeah, it really does. It's interesting trying three different beers from the same brewery, and now you see how the different character comes out in these. And, well, it's, and, they're, they're, and they are so different. Yeah, the, and, and this is, you know, obviously you can see on the taps behind us, you've got quite a variety of beers here, and uh, wow, that's, uh, <laughs> now that's, that's got definitely some full flavor, some, some edge to it. Uh, no aftertaste. No. You don't have the lingering aftertaste that I dislike in some beers. Yeah, the, you know, the, and that, especially the cloying maltiness. Yes, uh, yeah, and this, this is very good. Mmm. Wow. So. Very good, Dustin. So we've tried three. Uh, well, well, Mr. Beer Snob, of the three, what would you have to say is your favorite? Well, you know, I, believe it or not, as much as I love stout, I like the sheep head. Really? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, not just because it's the last one I had in my hand either. <laughs> yeah, it's a, usually you like the one whatever's in your hand. But uh, <laughs> talking about beer, here. Um, uh, we're, we're, I, I guess I'm kind of torn. It's a family show. I'm, I'm torn between the uh, 56 and the the creamy stout. They're both fantastic. But um, I, I guess for a, for a good for something you could enjoy the, a summer day with. Uh, I'd have to say the uh, old 56 would be my top choice. Uh, I have to, I, I, I'd like to say a comment about that old 56. You know, of, of all the light beers I've tried, this is probably one of the best ones I've ever tried. Wow, that says a lot. Yeah, for because me, you're not a big light beer guy. I know you. Uh, I know how you are it with is, your light beers. So that says a lot to Brow Brothers, I, and he's not just sucking up either. No, I'm not. Uh, not just because we're standing right in the middle of their brewery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he does have a handgun, just so you know. Uh, but at any rate, uh, that's. Uh, I think with that, let's say we wrap it up and uh, head down the road. And uh, let's say thanks to Dustin too. Yep. Thanks, thanks guys. for having us. Know. What, what, a, what a, a great brewery you have, and come thanks back. for the. We, we will definitely come back. And uh, with that, uh, I have to say I'm going to grab my favorite. And uh, until next time, beers to you. The beer guys always say, quality, not quantity. Moderation is the key. Don't drink and drive. Enjoy your beer. You wouldn't see me out uh, <laughs> with, with a cool helmet on. No, I don't go kart for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you.